Shalom, shalom, and greetings uh, to you today. I just want to share on the form of capital called time. I've said this before, the unit measure of uh, life is time. What we have on earth is the time to be able to accomplish that which God has uh, purposed for us to accomplish on earth. Uh, we talked about the sons of Issachar who knew the times and the seasons and they knew what to do. Now, of course, Ecclesiastes 3, 1, 8 talks about the time for everything there's a season. For I mean, Let me say this again. For everything there is a season. Sometimes it's okay to be sad. Preacher, did you just say that? Yes, I just said that. Sometimes it is okay as long as it is controlled for its purpose. Because I didn't say it. It's the word of God that says there's a time for everything. There's a time for every activity under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to harvest. Uh, some Christians have faced me with a question on uh, should a Christian get involved in insurance uh, products? Listen, I think we ought to use uh, prudence and wisdom as we do whatever we do on earth. If there is a time to be born and a time to die, then it's only prudent and wise that uh, it's okay. You make your decision. I'm not saying everybody should, but you make your decision based on the wisdom you carry. There's a time to plant and a time to harvest, a a time to tear down, a time to build up, a time to cry, a time to laugh. There's a time literally for everything. So it's very important for us to understand how best we are able to manage our time. The book of John somewhere records and says that um, for night cometh when no man can work. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things, uh, principles that encourages and drives me is that uh, an old man once told me that uh, you see, as you grow older, son, you need to realize that it's the black hair that works for the gray hair. So if you're listening to this time capital, it's very important for you to understand that the only time you have is now to be able to deliver a future that you you desire to enter into or see in the present. You can only create your future today. Life is a building process. For every single day, you allot time for something. Now, in Africa, we have what we call when you're going to have a meeting with somebody, they ask you, is it African time or English time? I think Africans, we must rethink uh, the pattern of our lives and stop being made uh, a mockery of. Uh, if you've told somebody, just uh, we talked about management. It's very important. If you tell somebody you have an appointment for 8 a.m., get ready by 7 and say it off so that 30 minutes, you're 30 minutes earlier or oh, everybody else doesn't keep time. You are not everybody. Create a distinction for your life. Be unique in your own way. Let others learn from you. You are the light of the world. You're the salt of the earth. Show the way. Lead the way. So it's very important for us. Uh, the question I'm always faced with oftentimes is, how are you able to run an organization with about six, seven companies and be a preacher of the word, a pastor and an apostle and still be a father and a husband and still be the president of Green Economy East Africa and still chair the entrepreneurship and, and all that kind of thing. But it's about finding an equilibrium finding balance in life is very important know when you can engage in conversations and when you are supposed to be praying and know when you're supposed to be reading the word and know when you're supposed to be eating or when you're supposed to be exercising draw a pattern for your life that will guide you a lot you have achieved whatever you achieved because you were willing to trade time for it. Whatever you've not achieved, whatever you don't have in your life is because you've not yet hugely exchanged time for it. Your time is so precious, so precious. And I pray that God will grant you the spirit and the wisdom to be able to know how to efficiently utilize your time on earth. Father God, I pray for everybody that has listened to this word, that may they be able to be masters of their time and know how to manage their time efficiently for the fulfillment of your kingdom on earth, Lord. I pray that we will be given the discipline to understand the times and the seasons and what to do, mighty God. Teach us the precepts and principles of time that will be able to harness the results thereof. I pray and believe all this in Jesus' name. God bless you all.